Previously on Half and Half. You know, Naomi, there was a time when I just smile and let your arrogance slide, but that time is not now, so get your ass up out my chair. Hi. You said you arranged a spa day for me. I didn't realize you meant a spa day for me and you. You said you needed a massage, and I've really been enjoying spending time together. Just want you to know how much. I'm sorry. I just can't handle this right now. You haven't returned his calls. He has no idea what's going on. I think you owe him an explanation. Spencer, my first boyfriend and I, we didn't use condoms, and I contracted HIV. Damn. Yeah, when I tell people, I get all kinds of reactions. That's why I haven't had many serious relationships. It doesn't matter. But you're still the same girl I want to get to know better. Let's start here. Bowling since high school, that was so much fun. Not for me. You kicked my butt. <laughs> That's why it was so much fun. <laughs> Hold up. The lady said no jalapenos. Spencer, it's okay. Nah, I want you to have them the way you want them. Waiter, take these back. And don't just pick the jalapenos off the top. Because I don't know. <laughs> Spencer, you're really special. I think so, too. <laughs> so, ladies, I just got my shooting script for Junior High Horror 3D. Hey, and Mona, I... listen to this. <laughs> Did I tell you my new boyfriend Brad's an actor? We met during my mom's wardrobe fitting. He's playing murdered teacher number one. <laughs> yes, you told me every day for the last two weeks. But it's better than listening to you whine on about your dating drought or your lack of... S-E-X. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't think you could spell after three martinis. <laughs> well, I can't, and it's been four. <laughs> Anywho, who would have thought that Dita LaFontaine's big screen debut would be as a gym teacher? You mean says the only exercise you get is chasing down diamonds and running up bills? <laughs> a tee -hee. Now, in my pickle scene, I'm trapped in the showers by a zombie ex-student hell-bent on revenge. Charles, tell me, show the girls what we rehearsed. <laughs> Don't kill me! Don't kill me! Please don't kill me! <laughs> so she finally pushed you over the edge. Go for it, little man. No one will blame you. Just let me get a good seat. Brad, I've really had a great time with you these last couple of weeks. We owe it all to your mom. I'm just sorry I got murdered before I got to know her better. <laughs> Hey, listen, I have some great news. I've been cast in a new San Francisco-based reality show. That is fantastic. Yeah, it's called The Real One. It airs live and cameras follow me on my quest to find a soulmate. <laughs> but I thought we were dating. Look around. A cozy booth, a dimly lit bar, my hand on your thigh. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm only doing this show for my career. Besides, there's no reason we can't continue dating on camera. Want me to be on the show with you? With cameras and everything? Sure, we just keep doing what we're doing now. Except with more makeup. You're wearing makeup? As an actor, I feel it's in my best interest. So what do you say? Wow. I've never dated anyone on TV before, but... Okay, I guess. So when do I have to be ready? Right now. Dee Dee, nice to meet you. Your job is to look hot. Brad, you're trying to figure out if she's your soulmate or at least someone you banged tonight. Now make me laugh, make me cry, because if this show tanks, I'm back to videotaping crime scenes. And action! Brad! Nice to meet you. My name is Dee Dee. I'm saying that because we've never met. Although some people say we've all met in a previous life. Do you think that's true? Well, I guess... I totally agree. It's like the editorial in the Wall Street Journal, which I read today, as I do every day, after I finish the San Francisco Chronicle, which I really only get for the Sudoku, okay, which is... Take a breath, have some wine. Let me talk. So, Brad, what do you do for fun? Well, I run... Me I... too! Five miles a day! Although, what's really helped me is sports meditation. Sometimes I just can't, because when Stay I... Stay on her, she's a time bomb. We're talking kick, 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 boom. But I tell myself, Dee Dee, go, Dee Dee, go. And it really works, because my job is really stressful. Hey. Hey. 
It's really good to see you. Well, I figured I should really thank you for talking to Yomi into talking to me. I just thought she owed you an explanation for the way she was treating you. Well, she had one. Actually, it was a good one. Oh, really? Like what? She's HIV positive. Wow. Spencer, I never liked her, but now I wish I hadn't said so many terrible things about her. Yeah, you have been pretty rough on her. Look, Spencer, I'm so sorry. I know how into Naomi you were. Were? I still am. What, you think I'm so shallow that I could just turn off my feelings because of this? You? Well, yeah. <laughs> well, maybe a year ago I would have. But a lot of people have already turned against Naomi. I'm not going to be one of them. And every time the camera was on, I turned into this babbling idiot I don't even know. I mean, I'm not like that at all. Am I like that? I'm not like that. Oh, my God, I am like that. I bet you if you pour us some scotch, we'll all feel better. Or at least less parched. Having a drink to cheer myself up. Dear Lord, is this how it starts? It starts with talking to yourself. Yes, that's exactly how it started. Well, I have some very exciting news. Junior High Horror 3D has just brought on an A-list director. Congratulations. Who is it, Tim Burton, Wes Craven? Ludwig Kapik. He has brought us some of the world's favorite Czechoslovakian films, including a highly praised A Pierogi for Pavel. <laughs> As an auteur, he has changed my part dramatically. Didi LaFontaine will be doing a nude scene. Bare, buck, naked. That's fantastic. It is? It is? Of course it is. And your mother's got the back porch to pull it off, too. Mom, how much of this do I have to drink to forget what he said? You need a little bit more than that. Bringing your sister to watch her boyfriend on a date with another girl? We should have our own reality show called I'm with Crazy. <laughs> oh, Brad State's a hottie. Since when does blonde, silky hair and big jugs make someone hot? Since man walked upright. <laughs> wow, he likes her. I can't believe it. I thought he liked me. I'm sure he's just pretending to like her for the show. Brad's not that good an actor. <laughs> Didi, is dating this guy on camera really worth it? Let's see. Boyfriend on camera or back to lonely nights and weekends relying on you for something to do when you're not too busy with your boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, it's worth it. And cut. I think we got us a hot new romance. I need to talk to Brad for a second, Cindy. Why don't you use that time to button your blouse? If you can. <laughs> Brad doesn't seem to mind. Do you, Brad? <laughs> Look, I've given it some thought, and I'm not really comfortable competing with other women. Let me guess you heard about Jennifer. The massage in the hot tub was totally innocent. I didn't hear about that. Oh, well, then it must be about Renee. She just likes to talk with her top off. I must have missed a lot of episodes. Come on, Dee. It's my job to make this stuff as stimulating as possible. Was sticking your tongue down Cindy's throat part of your job? You know what? Last time I checked, I was the one picking the real one. And, Dee Dee, you're not it. You're breaking up with me? Get a close-up. I want to get the look of shock on her face. You're filming this? That's the look. We got it. <laughs> hey, Spencer. Hey. I brought your favorite pizza, sausage and pepperoni. With extra sausage and pepperoni. Oh, you've been paying attention. I like that. I got something for you, too. I booked us a ski trip in Aspen. A less sophisticated brother might have suggested we go to Vegas. Although there is a special rate at Circus Circus. You like Sin City, baby? You know, Spencer, when I first found out about my HIV status, I totally shut down emotionally. Which is understandable. I mean... That's pretty devastating news, but I'm here to help with all of that. And you have. You've accepted everything about me. And because of you, I know I'm worthy of being loved again. 